Good morning. Welcome back to the Dusty Ranch. Last episode, I walked you guys through the hydraulic functions on my LT40 Super, and I showed you what each lever does. I showed you which hydraulic functions would work simultaneously with the others and which would not. This episode, we're going to have a little experiment. We're going to have a little friendly competition. I have Double Dog Dared, my friends, Eric over at, the old, over at the old Jarhead and my friend Dave over at the old man at the sawmill. And they have both agreed to have a little sawmill race. So I'm going to put a timer on the functions on the LT40 Super. Both of these gentlemen have LT40 standards and they're going to put timers on their functions as well. And I'm going to link those videos in the description of my video and we're going to see how much faster the super is than the standard models. Woodmiser claims that they're a fair bit faster. We're going to see, and we're going to let you guys make an informed decision on whether or not that is something that you want to spend that extra money on for that extra speed. So join us. We're going to have a good time. And here we go. Let's do, let's put a timer on all the way out to clamp. We'll do it right there so we can all see it. All right, ready, start timer now. Oh, we're just kidding. Start timer now. Fully clamped. Now let's go back to the middle and do a timer on up and down. Timer now, up, down, back forth one more time, all right, forward and backwards there, and now let's put the clamp down and let's do the stop arms, start in the down position. We'll do all the way forward and then all the way back down. And then the load arm. And then as a bonus round, I'm going to put a log on the loader arms and we'll see how quickly it loads a log. So just a touch over 10 seconds to get that yellow pine log on the mill. That 16 foot log had just the perfect bow in it. You can make fun of me a little bit if you want to, but it was an absolute pain in the tail to get that thing clamped over onto the log stops. Uh, we got it over there, it took just a minute. I had to use both of my hands, couldn't just use one hand. I had to kind of operate that up and down and side to side simultaneously and we got it there but still beats the heck out of doing all that manually all right so another good example of moving a log forward and backwards this log needs to go back about an inch um, under normal circumstances this would be very difficult however we have the tow boards on that lt35 you see back there um, this would be almost impossible unless i had another machine sitting here but this machine, all I have to do, raise both tow boards with rollers on them. Boom, boom. And I can actually lower that rear tow board just a dab. And it allows me to push that log with very minimal effort. Well, it's 
gonna make a locker of me. I say minimum effort here, and the reality is it is minimum effort when you think about doing it on a manual mill. I've moved this thing, even with my initial pushes there, uh, about an inch, and I probably needed two inches. With that 35, I would have had to have gotten a machine and moved it with a machine. Uh, just the fact that I can grunt and growl and move this thing just a little bit uh, with those tow boards with the rollers on them um, right, is a job. huge upgrade uh, and extremely helpful. If you're able to make your first cut on a log without moving it, and then you want to move it forward or backwards, you get that flat edge on there against those rollers, that makes it so much easier. And that's really all I needed, just two inches. Lower it back down. And now my saw head. Can do what it needs to do. You've got clearance. So, just out of curiosity, because we've done everything else, I don't need to forget to put that down. Let's see how quickly the saw head raises to the top and lowers. We'll start her from the bottom. So I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. That It really was quite enlightening to see how fast those functions were for me. Uh, I'm curious to see how fast they are for Dave and for Eric. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you gained some value. I hope you learned something. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent in our labor, just in our dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Hope you guys join us again. Don't forget, keep it dusty.